Hi, and welcome to the business of being a virtual assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and you're watching and listening to episode number 235. Now, today might be a little ranty, okay? But I'm just going to let it out there. I don't even know if I'm going to actually publish what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it because when I went to figure out what to talk about, ah, this is, was bubbling up on the surface. So I better talk to you about it or else it's going to come out in another way on another episode. So let's, let's go for it. Here we go. Have you ever had someone ask you what you do and you tell them? And when I say someone, I'm not talking about a prospective client. I mean, just in a casual setting. This person is not your client. They're not your ideal client. You know, they're not your client. It's very clear. Just, and they ask you what you do and you tell them what you do. Real quick, when someone asks me, oh, what else do you do? I say, oh, I also have a virtual assistant business. And I just leave it at that. If I know they're not a client, I just leave it at that. Um, this was the response I got. This is what irritated me. She didn't know she irritated me, but it did. Let me tell you what she said. Oh, I need to start doing that. I was irked. <laughs> Why? Why do you want to start doing this? Is it for the money? You think it's going to be easy? What is it? What's the reason? I didn't ask any of those questions. I just looked and smiled. Huh. But I was irritated. <sighs> Y'all, let me tell you. No matter what business you do, it's not going to be easy. There are going to be parts that you find super easy. You can do with your eyes closed. And then there are going to be other parts that you would rather not do. It's not easy for you. And this is where you learn <laughs> who you are in business. The numbers may be great. You may be great with the numbers. Um, the bookkeeping side, that part is great. But when it comes to talking to a potential client on your discovery call, you clam up, you freeze, you can't speak. You may find it difficult to throw yourself out there, go to networking events, let all the people in the whole room know who you are and what you do. That may freak you out. You may find it difficult to say no to requests from clients that you do have. You may find it difficult to charge more when you know you need to be charging more. This is not easy. I know people make it look easy online, not necessarily being a virtual assistant, but like working from home. They make it look easy. It's not. It's not, y'all. I've been doing this a long time. And there are many times that I'm like, mm, in my mind, I might say, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. I don't feel like doing this. And it has nothing to do with the job itself, but all the other things that come with it. And that's different for everybody. But... For those who are truly, truly, truly in their business because you love what you do, you love working with people, you love getting a result for people, you love taking the load off of people, that is what keeps you coming back. The money won't keep you coming back. Being at home won't keep you coming back. It has to be something deep down inside of you that really wants this. That keeps you climbing when your feet hurt. 
that keeps you climbing when you're dehydrated, that keeps you climbing when you cannot see the top. It keeps you going no matter what. And you may even feel crazy for wanting to climb because of all the things. But you go and you do it anyway. Because it's worth the results. It's worth the journey. It's worth the growth. It's worth it. And if you quit, it wouldn't leave you alone. You would still find yourself somehow reaching out, wanting to help people, wanting to do that thing that you offer in your virtual assistant business, wanting to do it anyway, even if you say I quit. You can't quit. It's not going to let you quit. It might morph into other things. It might build And grow bigger than what you expected. But if this is really, 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 really what you're supposed to be doing, you won't be able to let it go. When she told me, "Hmm, I need to start doing this. That let me know you don't need to be doing this. Motor's wrong. Your motive's wrong. I have seen many people come into this and their motive's wrong. You saw somewhere online, somebody's making six figures as a virtual assistant. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. What they didn't tell you is you might have to work day and night. You have to might have to work on projects you don't like. You might have to work with clients you don't like. If you're in it for the money. If you're not in it for the money. You can pick and choose who you want to work with. Because guess what? The money comes. If your motives are right. You can take your time. And be selective. And not be desperate. See if you're in it for the money. Even if it's not six figures. Maybe it's for the five figures. The four figures. The three figures. You'll be desperate. You'll chase after money instead of opportunity, instead of growth, instead of excellence, instead of expansion. You'll chase after the wrong things. I can remember having to let all of my clients go because I was contributing to to things that did not align with my moral beliefs and values. And it was showing up in my home. This was years ago, years ago. And I think I may have been maybe three years in and two or three years in. And if you've been around the podcast for a long time, you may already guess what I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to give the full story, but the black snakes. And I don't know if it was one snake or multiple snakes, but showed up um, inside my home on three different occasions. And once I cleared my client roster that I felt like was bringing this on, I never saw the snakes again. And I don't mean snakes in my dreams, snakes in the vision. No, I mean snakes in the house, a real snake. And like I said, it showed up three different times and I don't know. If it was the same snake over and over again or different snakes. But the point is snake in the house. I'm saying all this to say. You got to be in this for the right reason. 
so that you can say no when you need to say no. So that thing when things show up, maybe you didn't know the client was involved in some things that you would rather not be a part of. You know, it's not aligned with your beliefs, even if they're willing to pay you top dollar, even if they have a list of people that they can refer you and have you booked and busy every hour on the hour that you want it to be. You have to be in this for the right reasons. And so that's my rant. (laughs) I hope you're here for the right reasons. And if you're not, this is probably not the podcast for you. And it's cool. It's all good. If you chase after what's right for your business, what's right will come back to you. Thank you so much for watching and listening. You have a wonderful and fabulous day.